Hello everybody, it's Styx, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of gaming, I just kind of wanted to look at a Reddit thread. Standard reaction, but bear with me, I don't know how to set it up yet on OBS properly, but this is more of just a test run for fun. So, let's see what it is. Animals I didn't know existed is a thread we're going to be looking at. It uh, apparently has been linked in one of the other threads I just follow, which is, what is this bug? Uh, but I wanted to see if there's actually much stuff that I didn't know existed. Let's get into it. What the actual hell is that? It, it kind of looks like a snail or a, a, a slug? Maybe a slug? What is it? Er Ercolania Sci... Cyru Ercolania Cyrulia, a nudie branch who ooh, nudie branch ooh, who carries galaxies on its back. That's actually really kind of cool, but I probably would still hate it if I saw it in real life instead of just in the post. And we're not doing hot or anything. It's just going to be whatever people put up here. So don't worry about that. African black bellied pangolin. I actually have seen the pangolins. I have seen them. I've seen a whole documentary on them somehow. I don't know how I saw a documentary on them, but they are like the cutest shelled creature, if I'm being completely honest. It's like a big armadillo, essentially. But look at that. Look at that guy. Does it have... Can I unmute it? Uh, we're just hearing normal sounds. Just hearing normal sounds, but it's like... It's ugly, but cute. It's one of those, so... I don't know, I think that's cool. I do like that. Let's let's carry on. A flower back ornate diamond back terrapin, a Florida subspecies. So it's a turtle, is what you're telling me. It's a turtle with a pretty shell. I wonder if they polished it up for the photo. <laughs> it's a turtle with a pretty shell and some spots. Yeah, so we basically, right here, we've got a cross between a giraffe for the shell, uh, sort of. We've got a cow for the skin. And then we've got the turtle. So, cool. It I, I don't know if I've seen it before. I am from Florida. Not there now, but uh, I don't know if I've seen that one. Palm cockatoos. Eh, it's just a bird, really. Isn't it just a bird? It, cool bird. Pretty bird. Just a bird. That, there's a lot of birds I didn't, I've never seen before, so I'm not too worried about that. The Napoleon wrasse. I think I've heard of a RAS before. What's a RAS? Let's, let, let, let's, let's look at the video. Whoa. Okay, we went full screen. But uh, the RAS here, it looks bigger than expected. Yeah, I don't know if it's just a trick of the light, but uh, or a trick of the camera, but it does look like a big old fish. Can we eat it? That's kind of what matters now, isn't it? Um, I think I've seen it before. Not amazing. Let's see. Black-tailed jackrabbit or... Lepus. Uh, I've seen jackrabbits before. It's just a jackrabbit. They have massive ears and they can stand very tall. That one's eating banana, so it's at least got cuteness on its side. Yes, it does. Um, I'm surprised it went up to them, though, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, there it goes. It lost a banana. Anyway, moving on. Spiny Hill Terrapin. Heosemis spino Just a spiky, tur spiky turtle, really? It's a sick turtle? If I had to be a turtle... That's probably the one I'd want to be, because he looks badass as hell with all those spikes on him. But it is just a turtle, so can't say I'm too impressed. What's this? What's this? Japanese giant salamander. I think I've seen these guys. I feel like I've seen these guys in, like, river monsters or something, like, way back when I was younger and watching river monsters on TV still. But I'm not sure. They are a bit creepy. If you just happened upon these while you were doing a hike, you'd be like, what the? What's going on here? Yeah, yeah. No, you would absolutely be freaked out for sure. Those things are massive. It's like the size of your leg. Oh. Now this one, I like this one. It looks fluffy though, so that part creeps me out. But the colors, the colors are gorgeous. My God, look at that. It's like shiny, but also just bright and looks fluffy yet underwater. That's cool. I like it. I like it. The Bearded Fireworm. Fitting name, I think. G's Golden Langer. It's a bird? An, a... Wow. It's a bird. That's what I just said. I said it's a bird. What I meant to say is it is a monkey, um, but it is a monkey with a creepily human-looking face. I know they all do because, you know, that's what we evolved from and stuff, but 
this one looks very, very humanoid. And to read it, very rare and highly secretive. Not much is known about the endangered G's golden langur. Unlike other species of langurs that appear unafraid of humans, researchers have said that this monkey works hard to avoid human interactions. I don't blame them. Humans are a bunch of dicks. Um, making them extremely difficult to observe in the wild. You know, you know, there's some humans you want to say hi to, little buddy. But uh, most, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you there. Steer clear. That's a, that's a pretty fish. Again. Just a fish. There's a lot of fish I haven't seen. There's a lot of fish none of us have seen, which I guess a whole didn't know existed thing makes sense. But uh, yeah, no, not too worried about a fish. You share a planet with this alien creature, the hammerhead flatworm. I've actually seen this on that um, that subreddit I was talking about before. The what is this bug or what is this subreddit just in general? But I think I've seen it specifically in the what is this bug one. So cool, but I have seen it. Ah, spiders. No, thank you. Fuck that. These are magical. The golden chrysalises of the Tithoria Ter Teresina butterfly? Let's replay that. Look at the way that they shine. It looks legitimately like solid gold with just some black sharpie writing on it. <laughs> Just like tainted gold, really. If I'm being completely honest, that is exactly what it looks like. If it didn't have the rat tail, then it would look like a giant hamster, which would be cute. It's a starfish. It's not some sort of starfish. All starfish have legs like this. You just aren't aware, my friend. You aren't aware. It's not some sort of uh, starfish. Star yeah, yeah, starfish. Starfish. That's just a normal starfish. And they are creepy as hell when they move like that. If you don't like that type of stuff, if you don't like centipedes, millipedes, etc., you're not gonna like starfish when they move. Obviously, as you would have just seen. Pheasant again. A bird. We'll look at the pictures. Looks like a badass bird. <laughs> It looks like a sea urchin crossed with a bird. It's got all this whatever stuck in his head. It looks like a sea urchin crossed with a bird. Wow. Okay. Yeah, cool. Whoa. This little shithead's gonna hear you from 10 miles away with those ears. Those ears are freaking huge. Imagine having ears like that. Imagine just trying to put on a hat and that those are your ears. <laughs> They're not fitting. But if you like piercings fit a lot of freaking piercings on ears of size. Not for the animal, of course, if, if we had them. If we had them as humans who can make that decision. But that thing is cute as hell. It's so cute. That looks like an amazing pet. But it is a fox, so it shouldn't be a pet. Giant red velvet mite. Uh, that freaks me out. I'm not gonna lie. That, it's kind of like a giant tick, which maybe that's, I, I don't know what a mite actually is. I know I've heard of them, but it, it just looks like a giant red tick to me. <sighs> no, I don't like that. Don't like that. Texas ironclad beetle. Yeah, it's a beetle. It's a bug. There's lots of bugs I haven't seen. Hence, I'm in the what is this bug thread because I wanted to know what some threads were. Oh, well, this is a cool one. It's not loading in. Guess, uh, guess I didn't want to join the party. What the? The peacock Katie did. Okay, that side is ugly as hell. It's just a freaking moth. But the other side was quite pretty. Let's see the other side. Oh, look at all those colors. Look at that. It looks like a painting. It really does look like a painting. Nature be do, nature do be lit. Those random stuff does look like a painting. A tiny and rather fancy plant hopper. Ooh, a plant hopper. Cool. I mean, it, 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 it again, it's a bug, so I'm not surprised. But at the same time, it does look like it's glowing, which is freaking awesome. Now the question is, does it always look like that, or is it just the lighting in the picture? These are the questions you've got to ask that people don't always think about. The weird caterpillar I found outside my house. Yeah, fuck that. Nope. We, we move. Chrysocroa food. Why do they have to use these specific scientific names? It's a shiny bug. That's it. Shiny bug. Shiny beetle, if you really want to call it that. It's nothing too amazing. But the shininess is cool. But I can't say I'm very impressed. Harley Quinn? Ghost pipefish? Um, okay. I don't know why Harley Quinn or Harl Quinn. I don't know. Um, but it is just a pipefish. It's a clear pipefish. But I feel like it's not too freaky. A strawberry squid or a hist histiotuthis heteropsis. You said it like what? It's a hetero? We can't not make that joke. Oh, but it's a giant squid. We've all seen a freaking giant squid. There's nothing fantastic about a giant squid. Not anymore, unless you see it in real life. Then it's freaking fantastic. The giraffe weevil. Look at the size of this bug's neck. Look at the size of that, man. What the actual hell? I felt like I wanted to hear it, but oh. When it bends its neck, it... imagine that thing just crawling up your uh, up your face, right? It gets right to your ear, 
and it goes like from the giraffe neck to looking inside your ear. Just checking out your ear canal, bro. Your uh, eardrum here is looking a little bit dirty. Let me get some of that for you. That's that's where my mind goes with that, which is crazy because I'm crazy, I suppose. But that is a no-go yet again. Dinner time for a beautiful dugong, also known as a sea cow. Uh, so it's a manatee? Because a sea cow is a manatee, uh, not a... I think we're having a miscommunication here. Is it a dugong or is it a manatee? It doesn't look like a manatee though, I, I will say that much. It looks similar, but it doesn't look like a manatee, because I... I've seen manatees, we have manatees in Florida. Pygmy tarsier! I love tarsiers. They're creepy as hell, but so cute. It's like a little alien. Look at the, look at the fingers on that guy. Look how long and bony and skinny those fingers are, and that's because they dig holes into the wood and pick the bugs out with them. See, I know a little bit about the tarsier. And those big, massive eyes, they only hunt at night because they're nocturnal, and they use those to find the little bugs, so... And they also, I, th I think they can hear the bugs in the wood. They're, they're pretty crazy little creatures, to be fair. They are badass hunters in their field. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm sure something hunts bugs quite well also, but this guy, probably number one badass for sure. And they can leap really far. This is something that it's cool to watch a documentary on, which I've done. Don't know if I did it purposely. Yet again, same type of thing. Just kind of comes on sometimes when you stop paying attention to YouTube and what's auto-playing. But... Very, very cute, and I think I'm going to leave it on this very, very cute guy's face. So, if you did enjoy it, please let me know. Let me know if you want more reactionary content, or if I should just do this somewhere else, just for fun. Pretty much, I'm, I'm just doing it because I like it, so love it or hate it. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that fun, fancy stuff. I'll do more, and I'll get better at it. I'll learn how to do this whole uh, editing thing a bit better and set up better. But uh, for now, I just I just kind of wanted to do something. Wanted to take a look at something. We'll, we'll check out the subreddit again, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking next time we check out the sub, we're going to be rating from, like, 1 being animals I knew existed and 10 being animals I really didn't know existed. So we'll, we'll, we'll do some kind of system like that. This time, just for fun, first test. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. It's been 6OG. Yank down under.